you're not here, you missing out. Is this show? And another edition of We Love, because you know we love the people that we talk to. You feel me? Today, y'all know this person. Y'all done seen her on AEW Dark Elevation. Y'all seen her on Ring of Honor. Y'all been hearing about her on Women's Wrestling Army. Y'all seen her on our Instagram. Talking. Talking that good talk. Everybody, y'all hit my inbox. Y'all was like, ooh, she for real, for real talking. I was like, for real? What'd she say? We got Christian Dore here with us, the Pan African World Discord yeah. Champion. Woo! How you doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good today. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm feeling good myself. Trish, we already know why you love wrestling. But this promo, Trish, you don't talk all the time. You, I'm, I'm sitting at Women's Wrestling Army. You grab the mic. Can't really say why she cut that promo, but. It's coming soon to Pro Wrestling TV, or you can go to Brand Army, I mean, Women's Wrestling Army.com to see why in the coming weeks. But you cut a promo, you're you, you talking good. I mean, this this the, the other thing in your bag you about to start doing? You know what? Um, <laughs> it's so funny because I try not to just like get too frustrated. You know, I try to definitely keep myself a little bit pulled together a little bit I don't know just not as crazy or not as like out there so I definitely just kind of I don't know I was upset and I I don't have a I don't have an outlet to like show myself being upset all the time you know when I go to work I, I can't be upset sometimes you know what I mean when I'm at home I can't be upset and it's just like I get upset all the time. I get frustrated with things that go on at my job. I get frustrated with things in wrestling. So if I got to talk more and that I get hurt, you know, people have been reaching out to me too. So that passion. I mean, y'all know I, when I talk about people talking, I was like, she talking and I was just excited myself. Cause you know, <laughs> I'm like, Hey, she was saying some stuff that my, I didn't heard my aunties and my aunts been saying to me like, Hey, don't put your feet on my what? My bad. I'm sorry. You know that old black woman. You know, can we call you Auntie? No, nah, I can't call you Auntie Trish. Yeah. We're the same age, uh, but y'all can call her Auntie Trish. I mean, that's what we're gonna start. <laughs> be calling. a cousin. I could be cousin Trish. <laughs> cousin, cousin Trish out here. You feel me, <laughs> Trish? So I mean, this last year for you. If we we catch up on it. We haven't talked. To, we talked to you last, I think, May 2021. But since then, you've been all over TV. You've been on the West Coast. You've been down south. You've been up north. Yes. Did you go? You didn't go overseas yet. I did go overseas. You did go. She been overseas. Look at me. You was on the all <laughs> uh all pattern show, wasn't it? Yeah, and then you yeah. and Mercedes Blaze. Oh, you and Mercedes Blaze had that matchup. Yeah, How's the year TV. Hmm. On, on who TV? That's on, on Peacock. Peacock. Yeah, it? yeah. We we network affiliated. You know what I'm saying? Man, so you network mean to tell me I went and and it's on Peacock. Listen, guys. <laughs> you can see the whole. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. Progress. Yeah. Progress. I know. Okay. They, look, they shaking hands. They shaking hands. <laughs> they got the footage. I knew progress was on there. Okay, it was at progress because I, I I I had to do what I had to do to watch the show, but it's on Peacock. Met. Oh. There you go. But, uh, Too easy. Run that back a couple times too. Hell yeah. Don't trip. I got you. Oh. Um, yeah. How's this year been for you? Because last year you was like, I'm just hoping to do this, you know, maybe face some big swole, you know, get in the ring with this person. Everything you basically said the last show kind of happened. Yeah. <laughs> or has happened. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, a lot of it did. I was hoping to travel overseas and defend the Pan-African title. I was hoping to, like, just get, like, a good working relationship with Big Swole, just kind of sit under her learning trees. He's so sharp. And, um, 
she knows a lot about the business, you know, so she's very, very good to call a friend um, and a role model, too. She's dope. She's dope as hell. Uh, one of my favorite matches that I've had in the past, like, two, three years is against her. Which Honestly, if I was doing, like, a top ten, I'd probably put three of our matches in there. So two or three of them in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we have really good chemistry. So um, that was a good, I don't know, a good year to kind of develop that. Happy I got to do that. Uh, a lot of good things happened. Yeah, it was a good year. It's a really good year. Um, a lot of good professional highs. Uh, people watching or listening, go to the Grapital show on IWTV. Trish, Big Swole hits you. <laughs> See? I was, hold on, sorry. <laughs> she hits you. And I thought she had you, but you rolled out the ring. So uh, <laughs> I got to ask you, how does it feel to get hit by that dirty dancing? Because I was, the, the way you sold it, I was like, ooh. And then you just rolled on out. And I was like, okay, she got that one. Um, yeah, that joke hurt though. <laughs> she played too much. No, but you know what? When I hey look, if you get me a chance to put a Lariat Tubman on you, I'm gonna put it on you. So regardless. And it just so happens that if I care about you, it's gonna go a little harder. So <laughs> it is what it is. I just had to do what I needed to do. I had to roll up out of there real quick. So no, no, thinking about it, you did this the way you pinned her. It's like it's a backslide, but then you kick your legs over. Yeah, well, how a bridging even, backslide. Yeah. yeah, how do you even think to do something like that? Because <laughs> you that, know what? As creative as I hope I am, I'm usually not the very first for a lot of things. But um, okay. yeah, so the. Um, the bridge and backslide, I saw that first in the Divas era. That was something a lot of the uh, Divas and the um, the Divas era were doing. That was definitely, like, right up their alley. I totally and, uh, yeah. they, they've, you know what? Icons, <laughs> for sure. Amazing movesets. And so um, as I'm trying to lean more into, like, showing off my flexibility, I'm absolutely looking at them. They're definitely key for that, for sure. Man. Yeah. Oh, I can't even talk. You got this other move that you did at Women's Wrestling Army. I can't, I don't really want to give it to them to the people see it, but you had the person kind of like, you a technical wrestler. Oh, Let me yeah. say that. Um, <laughs> what you talking about? Yeah. And I was like, I've seen that once. And I think I used, I did something like that to my cousins when young. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I saw you do it, I was like, yo. She's really in her bag right now. Like, Look, <laughs> I'm firmly in my bag. You know, I kind of gotta, um, I gotta shake things up. I can't let, I don't want, I don't want anybody's eyes to wander if they're looking at me. You know, if they choose to look at me, I don't want your eyes wandering. So I gotta make sure I'm in my bag. I gotta make sure, you know, that I'm firing all cil cylinders and just trying to put my best self forward for each match. Like, pretty much like my, like the next match is my last match. Mm. So I would be um, remiss if I didn't ask Women's Wrestling Army, you know, how do you like working with them? Because you have been at both the tapings, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. People should subscribe to it. It's actually good stuff, good content. How does it feel working with Maria Cohen? It's coming from Ring of Honor to now doing Women's Wrestling Army. Yeah, so... <laughs> It's been really, really cool. Maria's really nice. And um, it's interesting, too, because when I was at Ring of Honor, I was, like, hoping this can be a place that I can settle into. You know what I mean? I was hoping that I could find a place. I was looking for a place, a place, a place. Where is the place? Where am I going to go? And with meeting her and with meeting Mike and with meeting, like, a lot of the people, like Bobby. Bobby's so cool. And a lot of people that they have over at Women's Wrestling Army just – being able to work with them, it's just, it's the people. That's what I was looking for. It's not the place. If you're looking for the place where you're going to find that stuff, you're going to be looking forever, and you're never going to get the carrot that's dangled in front of you. You just won't. And it wasn't until I really changed my mindset and 
that I was even receptive to hear that in the first place. You know what I mean? So working with Maria is just, it's so dope. I feel heard. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Cause if I don't feel heard, I, you know, and I'm working on that for better or for worse. I'm working on that. But when I don't feel heard, sometimes I can shut down, mm-hmm. which, um, and effectively just stop all communication. And I think that's not entirely fair. So it's teaching me how to keep communication open. It's teaching me how to like speak up if I feel something's not right. It's a really good working relationship to have. So love to see it. Love to see it. Working relationships, you know, you and IWTV got a working relationship, kind of. You got yeah, that, yeah. that that championship behind you. You know, you see that beautiful thing. I tried to not even mention it because you know I always get off course when I start talking about it. I know, right? <laughs> I'll say this though, guys. I finally was able to touch that. I touched that thing twice. I took pictures hey. and everything with it. <laughs> I appreciate Trish for that moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got um, you for sure. I got the ass though. What's the state? What would you say the state is of the Pan African Championship? Yes. So right now I'm working on a program that I'm trying to present to multiple companies at once. And it is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. There's a lot. um, When you're independent, you really are independent. There's not a single person that is advocating for anything that you're trying to do. It's a lot of individual people trying to get over some individual ideas that they have. And sure, they include other people, and there's a big picture too, but really it's just these, like like you just get tunnel vision sometimes. So I'm trying to make sure that I can do this right. And I have maybe two companies that are pretty on board, and I'm hoping for two more. So that way I can have a consistent place. So now it can be like little hubs places that I know for sure that I'm always going to be going to, places that I know for sure are always going to be running, places that I know are be, that'll be streaming to Fight TV or, you know what I mean, or a title match network, you know, places that are put in the footage somewhere, places that are paying well, you know, and that are paying the workers consistently. You know what I'm saying? That's important to me too. Like I'm of my bag, absolutely, but I want to make sure that other people can win too. So uh, there's a couple of like initiatives I'm trying to do. It's, it gets hard when you start talking about like community stuff, people get very like, oh yeah, sure. And it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's hard. I'm like, oh, so all I asked was that if for your next couple shows, you know what I mean? And so now it's like, it becomes like pick, pick, pick. So I'm just trying to set up a really good thing going. And uh, in the fall is going to be my next defense. Actually, Late summer is going to be my next defense. Uh, so I'm working out the particulars of that. And that's going to be dropping soon. And it's going to be very interesting. So you said Jabber Slam? Uh, <laughs> what, what, nah, what did you just say? No, I didn't say it. I said, um, I didn't say the company. Oh, okay. I thought you said like a show or something. My bad. No, um, it's going to be uh, in September. So, yeah. That's the state of it. I'm trying to make sure I can uh, set up a a community so that way I can go certain places. Because the big problem is, okay, I can come here for a one-off, but if we want to continue things, it's kind of got to be like, now I'm thinking of other things. So Mm. a lot to consider, but here we are. Trish, we cool, right? Yeah. I can ask this question. I think so. All right. We're going to ask this question, Trish. What do you say to the people who say that that championship is just a Trisha Dora championship? Hmm. I mean, well, if any of those people would really, really like to put that to the test, then they absolutely can. They will be absolutely open to do that. It's probably somebody who I've never been in any business talks with. It's probably somebody that I don't have any personal or professional relationship with. It's probably not somebody that I would like to anyway. So if those are the attitudes that certain people have, certain people just have those attitudes. And I don't want to change anybody's mind. Look, I'm going to just do my thing. (laughs) You know what I mean? I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to make sure that the people that I train with, 
the people that are sitting under my tree are taking care of things and doing what they need to do. Talk this. There's no such thing as the Trish Adora show belt. I think Come since on. this whole thing started, I've been very, very <clears throat> community based. So that's interesting that people are getting very, very funny and want to say, or at least even hint casually that I would not be community based. Mm. Let's uh let, let's stay with that. I don't know if you heard this guy talking. Um, but somebody just won a championship with your with your company and everything, you know, a chocolate city championship. Um, and he made a statement talking about he trying to put the brown above the green. Um, do you know this guy? You know what? Andy don't get on my nerves <laughs> because he's playing, right? Because what I'm gonna have to do, no, because you know what. You know what? No, 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 no. Because you're gonna get <laughs> he played too much. He's so funny. But I would I would love nothing more than to, you know, get a chance to wrestle with him, train with him. He's very, very sharp. Very, very sharp guy. He's really good in the ring. And I adore the Chocolate City Championship. I adore Fight Club. I adore DC wrestling. I adore East Coast wrestling. I adore independent wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like it's never it's not this belt above the rest. That's not that's not what I want. I want there to be some place for everybody to go. And everybody peels off in their own direction and they're creating some place for everybody to go. So now there's lots of places for everybody to go instead of one place for somebody to go. Some places for everybody to go. Yeah. So Make I'm glad to time. call Andino a peer. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh See about that. No, for sure. He's he's sharp for sure. But yeah. I gotta tell y'all that. Y'all know that. And if you don't know that, you're late. So if you don't know that, you can go to his you go follow him. He's saying here we love wrestling athlete. I didn't know we had athletes, but Shut he up. he uh he made himself the athlete. So you know, we just gonna go. I had to ask because he keeps saying, I'm like, bro, it's all right. You like, nah, man, brown above green. I'm like, come on, bro. <laughs> he's so funny. Yeah, he's a. I'm a okay. I'm gonna go. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna talk to him real quick. Talk we, to we, gonna, we gonna figure our stuff out. You got something to figure out? Uh, <clears throat> next week. Um, mm -hmm. I think this is a big match on the independent scene. If nobody else tell you guys, let me tell you. Last year, IWTV, uh, they acknowledged the Pan African Championship as a world championship and the IWTV championship. PWI did that on the same day. All people out there, they was taking pictures, you know, holding plaques and belts and everything. Um, Trish was there. Um, but the mouth of the South, I mean, I shouldn't call him the loud mouth of the South. He wasn't there, but he is the current IWTV champion. And you and him happen to just be crossing paths uh, July 29th, that hit Club Pro. He said that he gonna win the match. I mean, I asked him, I said, would you win the match? He was like, of course I would win. Um, but if, you, if you're familiar with AC, like, that's what he do. He he talk his stuff. Um, but he said, you are a beautiful person, Trish. He said, he loves everything you're doing. You're a beautiful soul. <laughs> um, but he is coming to beat you. I mean, look, hey, shoot, uh, he, he'll he talk and he'll talk and he'll talk and he'll talk and he'll talk if you let him. So I'm just waiting for the bell to ring. He'll, he'll talk, he'll talk, he'll talk. But once the bell rings, we're not talking anymore, you know. Um, and he's he's a lovely guy. I, I adore him so much. Every time I see him, it's always love. But I'm not for the long talking. I, I'm for the long grappling. That's what I'm foot along. So, you know what I mean? So I, I'm going to take him there and see if he can beat me at that. And I don't think he can. I don't think so. I got I got the IWTV champs number. I know that for sure. And I've been hot on that IWTV the last couple of times it's been jumping around. So I'm, I'm keeping an eye on that belt. So, so he now said he's not just defending it in the Southeast. Um, he said... And you'll see it right here because I am going to put it and in. And here I have some contracts. So with this contract, with these contracts, we're going to hand these out to anybody. This is an open challenge, okay? 
had a briefcase and he opened it up and he had a bunch of contracts and he said he's willing to go anywhere and face anybody for the IWTV championship. Um, I'm just saying, Trish, like for the independent wrestling, if you were to beat him on next Friday, or if he was to beat you, you know how what type of ramifications that could have? You know what? That's all I can think about. That's all I can think about since it was announced. My first thought is it'd be cool to be double world champ. You know what I mean? That's that's all I've been that's all I've been thinking about, you know. Um that's not the nature of the setup, of course, but I'm down to beat AC Mac no matter what's at stake. <laughs> on a Tuesday, on a, on a Sunday, it don't matter what's at stake. I'm down to do that a couple of times. I'm down to tie him up into a little knot. I'm down <laughs> into doing that. So look. <laughs> she gonna tie you in a knot, AC Mac. You better get your life together, boy. Wait. Hell yeah, um, that's what's up. Shoot. The move that I'm talking about, though, Yo, let me listen, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So it was a guy sitting next to me, right? And it was a girl and his guy and her guy sitting next to me. And when Trish did this move, <laughs> the dude next to me said, ooh. And the girl said, baby. And I was just sitting there like, because, you know, when I'm at shows, I'm trying to analyze what they're doing. And I'm like, this is interesting right here. I was like, I've seen nobody do this really. And then I was wondering if you like picked them up and then drop giving too much. But <laughs> the, the evolution of the move. Y'all got to see this stuff that she's doing because Trish is she's I told y'all a while ago she's a pure wrestler to me. Um pure wrestlers, a pure tournament. If somebody wanna have a pure tournament, contact mm -hmm. me. But we got to have Trish, Jordan Blade, Deanna Perrazzo. They at least got to be in it. Let's go. I, I probably have some more names, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause because it should be crazy. Uh Trish, I was looking. Apparently, you and Kayla Sparks got some some heat going on. You know, we had Kayla on here, you know. Um what's going on with you and Kayla? She's like one of the nicest people I've met. Well, I haven't met her. I talked to them. No, Kayla's sweet. Yeah, it's all, it's all love, you know? You know, I just gotta, look, if I'm, if I'm in a position where I have a match with somebody, I do my best to separate that and just go into it trying to tie them up into a little ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. No matter if I like you, no matter what's on the line, what day it is, at the end of the day, I absolutely have to win. And she's so nice, too. It, it almost made it hard. It almost made it a little difficult, but. It's championships out there, Kayla. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> but... it's done. It's got to be done. I mean, I don't know. I can't take it easy on them because they're nice. Nobody takes it easy on me because I'm nice. <laughs> She's doing a. <laughs> Go to Trisha's Instagram, okay? Um, I think it's Trisha Dora. Trisha. <laughs> Trisha. 202 2002 ain't it no 202 trisha door 202 i believe you was like decorating your house talking about this championship yo yes so listen i <laughs> i put up the video of trish talking i hadn't seen this video until like after i put up the video because you know i tagged trisha and i go to her page i'm like Trish is in her bag talking right now and she's being ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I could put it here. I could, I'm like, look at this. That's this is what, what I, I like. Can put, like, all over this place. Y'all don't even understand. I, like I can it. put one on each, like, stairwell going up the steps. It's too, I mean, look. I'm saying, this is what I like to hear. Like, the, the promos, like, I'm, I'm into the wrestling too, but make me feel some when you're talking. you definitely making. Making us feel something out here. Yeah. Uh, I done talked about the wrestling enough. If you at this part, I asked one question that's not wrestling related. Well, maybe two. Uh, but I got to ask you, Trish. <laughs> this is bad. It's not bad. 
Uh, what is something that you're addicted to that's totally legal? Oh, geez. What am I addicted to that's totally legal? Let me, well, look. Hmm. Perfectly legal anywhere you go. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me some bounds there. Thank you so much for that. No, really, because I was about to I, I, I was like, wait a minute. Let me, let me get you. this out the way. Hold on. Thank you. Perfectly legal anywhere <laughs> yeah. you go. Thrifting. <laughs> thrifting. Hell yeah. No, I love thrifting. I, I think I saw you, you in... Janai in Chicago thrifting? Yes. Oh my gosh. I got such cool stuff thrifting. I've gotten these pants thrifting. At this stage of my life, like 80% of my wardrobe is like thrifted. Mm. And that's like a huge source of like pride for me. Like, um, yeah, I think thrifting is the coolest thing. Nothing feels better than like seeing that and going like i wonder if that's how you open it up and it is a coach and you see the patch on there and you see that they're selling it for like six bucks and you run to the rest you know what I mean? there's nothing cooler than that than like finding a, a really nice brand that you wouldn't have been able to afford otherwise and then you get something vintage something lived in anyway so yeah <laughs> mm. so a lot of people i know that's thrift do you like design your clothes too or put them together or do you just go get, see what you like and then you wear it like that? Yeah. Sometimes um, I actually have a pile of clothes right off to the side. Um, a couple of items like made out of lace that I was thinking about, like trying to like hand sew to other pieces. So on the back of a jacket, like sewing some things together and stuff. So yeah, I thrift to upcycle sometimes, but I mostly just thrift to like, just wear it myself. Okay. Got to ask that. Uh, also got to ask this, this is just personal question for me um i'll be i'll be looking at your merch table and everything and you know i've been on a little sticker type trend and everything i haven't seen no stickers mm -hmm. trish you're right you're right i gotta get some stickers pins like or enamel pins something like that you're mm -hmm. right but you know what i'm going to be debuting this weekend merch wise this weekend? This yes. weekend. I hit this Club Pro, so I won't no. see you this weekend. Oh, you won't see you. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll probably have to set some aside then because I'll have some lighters. Well, look, I'm gonna, um this first round, I'm actually wrapping the lighters myself. Mm. So, yeah. This round is going to be seven. Uh, once I mass produce it, well, I'll see how this first little batch goes first. If I see that people are going at like a quick rate, then I'll try to mass produce it. And if that's the case, then I can probably get it to five. Mm. But you that's just me that. being honest. Since I'm wrapping them myself and I got to print the, you know, someone printed the stickers for me, which is very kind. It's such a ugh, nicest thing anybody's done for me. So kind. But I got to wrap them myself. So that's a little extra work. So seven. Seven? Yeah. I got seven. Hey. I got seven. You got seven? I got seven. seven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I'll I'll make sure to keep some off to the side for Hit Club, for sure. I, I only guarantee one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure I can, as many people see that I got some cool stuff going on, for sure. I don't even know. I just put it up with all my other stuff because I got the Willow lighter and I put it up. I never used it except for when I was in D.C. at uh, Grapital. Yes. Uh, collector driver, you know, some, some, yeah. some light. Uh, just because he's down right now, I got to ask this question to see if I can get him even. But she's already answered this, so if it don't go the right way, I don't have to use the answer that she said. But uh, Trish, the Rocker Stone Coat. Oh man, that's that's not as easy as to just pick, especially right now. Okay, the rock. Tied up, baby. You tied up. I'm gonna ask you a new question because we had a whole special about this. Um <clears throat> AJ Styles or HBK. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. That's a that's interesting. Let me see. <laughs> no, because now I'm, I'm thinking hard. Okay. You know what? AJ Styles. I'm gonna just. It is. It is what it is. That's my guy. You know, I'm with it. Yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> that was just random off the top of my head. Um. Man, we've been here about 30 minutes. So what are we doing with these we loves? I'm keeping them at 30 minutes. A lot of people told me they would talk to me as much as I need, but I like to keep them at 30 minutes because people's busy out here and they got things to do with their day. And I just appreciate the little time that they give because I see them at shows and we acknowledge each other at shows. So this is just yeah. a little something for y'all. Um, the last thing we get ready to do, though, because, you know, if I have Trish on the show, Y'all got to be supporting her. You know, you got to know everything she got going where y'all can get the stuff at, get the merch. She got the shirt. You, you gonna have shirts at the show? You, you be having your shirts out there? I don't, uh, I don't see you your know shirt what? I got limited shirts right now. Limited sizes. Limited so, size. Unfortunately not. You, you but got, you, I will you got have me. eight by tens. I will have posters. I'll have lighters that were hand wrapped by me. So... A lot of really fun, 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 fun merch items. I also just recently started an OnlyFans. I did that for the purpose of having a place where I can put pictures that didn't feel like they necessarily belonged on some of the uh, pages that my family is on. And I usually try to keep a pretty tight lid on that too. But with a lot of the interest that's been peaking in me as an overall brand, I just thought it was best to put them there so it's onlyfans.com forward slash sunflower trish that's me um let's see you can follow me at trish adora 202 that's on instagram and twitter i also have a shop iwtv collection if you'd like to purchase any t-shirts as well directly from there so one last question before we go mm -hmm. can we ask this question on my platform, or am I gonna get in trouble? Yeah. Did, did, <laughs> did you? Did... <laughs> Swisher's backwoods or raps? Which one raps. you pick? Okay. Raps. I'm just wondering, people, because a lot of y'all be on the page, they be asking me, you know. I don't, you know, I don't participate in that type of stuff, but I do what you guys want to hear and everything. So, you know, she said, rap. Yeah, rap. See, <laughs> you on this. You play Trish? Cap. Huh? <laughs> capital Cap. No, I'm kidding. Oh, because you in the Capitol. No. Yeah, you know, shout out to DC. <laughs> which, yeah, his, uh, Mortal Championship. Is that this weekend you had a Mortal Championship? No, that was this past weekend. This weekend, I am at Garden State versus Taya Valkyrie. And you going against Taya, yeah. a former WWE uh, NXT person, uh, yeah. the legend down in Mexico, um, the current Impact's tag team champion, um, AAA De La Rena's champion also. You and Taya this weekend, you know, when y'all have your match, do, do something for me, Trish. I mean, gotcha. it'd be cool. It'd be cool. AAA champion, Pan-African champion. Y'all should take a picture together with the belts before y'all match. Got you. Post it up, get some content for people. People would love to see some of that, you know? You know, just uh, two legends in their own time, you know what I'm saying? Because Tyler's are well-respected out here. You're well-respected. It's going to be hard-hitting. So watch that. Mm -hmm. I am about to say, like, I, I stay, you know, I got a hard hit with me, so I'm going to make sure she know that. I'm ready. All right, Garden State. Hold on. Is that going to be because sometimes these promotions don't be live? Is it pay per view, IWTV, Fight TV? Fight TV. No, Fight TV. All right, Fight. Well, man, let's one. get out of here because I just love it. Trish, as always, thank you. Thank you for giving this time, even coming through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know, people say you don't even come on their podcast and stuff. And I'll be like, yo, Trish, they never gave me no issue. She'd be like, what's up? And I'll be like, what's up? Yeah. And she'd be like, yeah, <laughs> stuff, you know? Even as Women's Wrestling Army. Real life, we about to leave. And Trish like, what's up? She was like across the room. Yeah. 
I was still I was floating at the moment. So when she's going, "What's up?" I'm like, "Who's she talking to?" She's like, "You know what I'm I'm like, "Who?" Me? Right, you. She like, yeah. "I'm like, oh, right." <laughs> I be forgetting people know me at certain points, and but yeah, right. Trish. Again, thank you. Um, appreciate you for being here. I'm Trey D. Make sure y'all follow everything Trish got going on. Like she said, in the fall, late summer, that pan African defense. You know, we're going to cover it. Like I always say, guys, oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm Trey D. She's going to help me with footage. And if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, love wrestling. then we love wrestling. It's too street <laughs> for the culture. Ooh, love wrestling, and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. Love wrestling. Love wrestling. Love wrestling. not here, you missing out. Is this show? This is, this is, this is.